Hey, it's Brock. I'm back with Chase Pink, and we're talking about safety on the bike. He's had uh, some pretty close calls, and uh, I'm going to have him tell about his experience a little bit. Um, well, I unfortunately have been hit by three cars in my riding experience. Uh, the worst one, as you can see on my face here, is from my accident in 2008 in Canada. I was up riding before the junior tour of Abinity, and a woman, I was riding along a road doing an interval before the race, and a woman was, wasn't paying attention and took a right hand turn right in front of me and I uh, hit the side of her car at about 30 miles an hour, uh, lost nine teeth, this side of my nose, kind of tore everything open, and that was my experience with that. So I have a pretty intimate and uh, big place in my heart for bike safety. I feel like as many accidents as we can prevent, the better. So uh, don'tdidbikes.com I think is an excellent, excellent uh, movement, and I want to get as many people involved as possible. Um, Another case, I had a woman back out in front of me, uh, and I hit the side of her car. And another time, a guy ran a red light and hit me while I was taking a left-hand turn. Luckily, just clipped my rear wheel, wheel so I wasn't hurt, but still a really scary experience. So I've had some close calls, and as many people as I can help not have close calls or not get hit or not die, the better. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, yeah, I mean, we're seeing so many new cyclists every single year and what what would you give to cyclists as the number one tip to just being safe and aware? Um, honestly, for cyclists on the road, I think being assertive in your rights on the road is very important. Like, if there's an unsafe part of the road, make sure that you're riding where you belong in the lane. Like, if, if there's no shoulder, you can take the lane. Assert your rights and don't let the cars push you around in a way that is inappropriate. But at the same time, please respect the other drivers on the road. Don't if you're riding double file with a friend and it's a small road and there are cars behind you. Please, like, be courteous. Even though you legally can ride double file, it's always courteous to go single file and try to allow as many people to come by as possible. Um, and keep drivers in mind as much as yourself. Like, keep yourself safe, but also don't be a, don't don't agitate drivers. Don't get aggressive if they make a mistake. Um, assert your rights and assert your own safety but don't try to make more of a problem than there already is. Absolutely. And then, uh, obviously, for most of us are all drivers as well on the other side, so what would you give as the number one tip to drivers? For drivers, just remember that, I mean, we're all drivers. As cyclists, we're drivers too. And uh, just respect the fact that on a bike, it's a person. It's not an annoying person going slowly. It's a person riding a bike, doing what they love. So give them the, the minimum of three feet. Take the extra 30 seconds to wait for a safe passing point. Don't come by a person and try to take a quick right turn. Just treat them as you would yourself if you were on that bike. Try to just respect the other person as a person. I mean, we're all out on the roads. We're sharing the roads together. And just remember that. Like, everybody's out there doing their own thing. You might be driving to work or driving to a concert while this other person is riding up a canyon for their own enjoyment or they're riding to work as well. So just keep that in mind, that there, there are people out there. Um, and I think the biggest part of, of this whole thing is having empathy for each other. As a cyclist, realize that you're going slower than a driver, and you want to minimize the inconvenience for them as much as possible while still keeping yourself safe. And realize as a driver, the cyclists are out there, and they, they're not out there to annoy you. They're not out there to cause you any sort of irritation. They're just people on the road. So treat everybody with respect. I'd say that's the biggest thing, honestly. I think that's fantastic advice. Thanks, Chase. Uh, pleasure to have you. Thanks no, so much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.